Hi, I'm Michael. Currently, I'm a PhD student in computer science at UFMG. Today, I will talk about Verilog. Verilog is a simple hardware description language. We can design, simulate, and test digital circuits. Use ADL running on a hardware simulator. For instance, the example you have a description of half ladder. Today, I will teach how to transform this circuit cam into a code. So we can see ADL is a description of the circuit schematic. But before that, let's talk about Verilog. Verilog was created by four people. Pablo Go, Phil Moore, Jim Wan Lei, and Douglas Wormk. And Verilog was created between 1983 to 1984. Verilog basics are simple. First, you must imagine you have a black box. This black box we call module. The module is responsible to process the data. It works like a function in a programming language. A module can receive any data inputs. And after the process of the data, it could result in any data output. Usually, we could have three types of modules. First, inside the module, we could have the circuit we want to process. This module is always used to simple circuits or to simplify our program. Second, we could have other modules. We use this type of modules in, in testband or when the program is very huge, for example, a processor. In the last one, we could have a mix between them. This type is more used because we usually create modules to reuse other modules. The first step is to install requirements. All we need today is a simulator. There is a good news for us. We have open source tools on Linux. For simulation, we will use iVelog. On Ubuntu, you can install iVelog using the command to sudo apt install iVelog. Okay, let's start with a simple example. We want to print hello world on the terminal. This is all code. Let's see each part. First, we need to create our module. In this case, I give the name TP. Pay attention to its destruction. Always when we create a module, we need to end it. If you want to add comments in your code, you can use the double slash, similar to C or C++ language. We initialize a block. It is required because the string in Velog is considered a test band. And then we display on the screen the string hello world. Save this program as hello world.v, which v is an extension of Velog. Then we are running with the command iVelog on the screen. If you do all right, you see the word hello world on the terminal. Piece of cake, right? Let's make it a little harder. Let's go back to the half other example. Now, we have two inputs and two outputs. Look at the code of inputs and outputs. There are other ways to insert this information, but today we will use this way. Next step, we create our AND and XOR circuits first. For this, we use the assign command. The operators bitwise are the same as the C language. After saving your code and trying to execute on the terminal, I hope you are not surprised. The code we create doesn't print anything in the terminal. For this, we need to create our testband to see our inputs and outputs in our solution. Let's do it. First, before we create our testband, we need to include the Vero file. This is similar to header in C language. Now, we can create the module. We create two types of data here. 
the register and the wire type. The hag, contrary to the name induced, hags does necessarily co correspond to physical registers. They represent the data storage elements in Velog. Wires are used to connect different elements. To call the module, we need to pass the parameters. It's not required to use the point plus parameter plus parents. You could pass the data the normal way, similar to use in function, but it's a good practice in Velog use the first one. Another important observation is the way we call the module. First, we have the name of module, and then we have the name we gave for module. This is similar in C++ when you use the classes and object. Next, we initialize the testbed. We start with the values 0 and 0 to resistors and A and B. We give 10 times unit to execute the next value. And we change the values and continue the process. In the end, we show the display and we use a monitor to print the values. The difference between display and monitor is the display shown on the screen once. The monitor shows always if any value or the signal, signal circuit will change. Now, after you execute the VELOG code, we will see the results on the inputs and outputs. So, we end this video. Feel free to write comments or send questions. And for those interests, I give further reference down on the figure.